It's the grandson of the right thought. We're in a great time of judgment. Everybody is being judged for everything that they've done. All the nations are being judged. Remember, the Most High says he will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, the valley of decision. And there will he plead with them for his people. I told you this is about Israel being saved from their enemies. Psalm 83 said that these confederate of nations came against Israel to cut them off from being a nation and a people. That the name of Israel be no more in remembrance. That was their plan. To make it no more in remembrance. Not to just cut it off and, you know, take some goods from them or no. We want to cut them off that their name is not even to be remembered anymore. Most High's chosen people. So the Most High is going to fight for his chosen people, see, with the truth. You're going to be judged based on your truth. And he knows all of it. All of this so-called control that these people, this illusion that they're trying to put over everybody, that they have all this control, the Most High is in control of this, not you, not man. <laughs> not man. The Most High is pulling the wool off of everybody's shit. All of you nations. All of you are getting exposed. It's just that simple. Sister Destiny Judah just posted a video about mukbang. <laughs> and about how it's all filth. Wickedness. Unclean. Y'all niggas is eating cockroaches. Y'all be sitting at Red Lobster. Nigga think he doing it big with his girl. Buying her lobster tails. When lobsters are cockroaches. They got antennae. Their skeleton is on the outside of their body. The meat is on the inside. You got to break the shell off that nigga to get to the meat. Crab legs and shit. Bottom feeders. Do y'all know what lobsters eat? They eat dead shit off the bottom of the ocean floor. So do crabs. They eat dead shit off the... They clean the bottom of the ocean floor of dead things. And then you go and eat that nigga and put that in your body. Oysters are some of the most... Are, are the most poisonous thing in the ocean to eat. Because they're full of all the unclean shit. They're filters of the ocean. So would you want to eat a filter of anything? Any filter that you see. Your filter and your fucking air conditioner. Think about how that bitch look. And then think about taking a big bite out of that shit. That's what you're doing when you're eating an oyster out of a clam, nigga. And they sit there going, suck his ass out of there. This nigga's supposed to be cleaning the ocean. Lobsters, crabs, all kind of unclean shit. Dogs, cats, horse meat, all kind of shit. Y'all niggas is wicked as fuck. See, Red China over there, they, they supposed to be experts in controlling the public, see. They're experts at controlling their people. So now they're trying to push their ways over on over in the Americans here, see? So you want to inject people with something to control them? Then you create a, a problem, see? A pandemic is an epidemic on the loose! So that people get fearful. And then you you they're gonna receive what it is you had planned for them to receive the whole time. Whether it be vaccines, whether it be a pill, whether it be experimentation, they've been doing this for the longest time. Y'all ain't hear about Tuskegee experiment? So don't try to act like they don't do it. They do do it. So now China was like, hey man, you ain't see, we've been wearing masks for a long time. So y'all trying to act like this is new. This, this mask on the face. China been doing that to their people. They've been controlling how many children their people can have. They've been controlling when they have to buy a new car. They've been controlling their lives. You see? And now they're doing the same thing to you. Oh, there's a pandemic epidemic. Now you're gonna have to get this vaccine so you can stay safe. That's old Chinese mysticism, Confucianism. That's old Chinese witchcraft is what that is. 
You convince your enemy of a problem and that you have the solution to the problem. You are the solution to the problem. It's old witch witchcraft. This is not anything new under the sun. They've been doing this and now they're doing it to you. And you dumb niggas is falling for the shit, going with the divination, the witchcraft. Because y'all niggas is under a curse, you see? But this curse is no longer on Israel. It's on you niggas now. So everything that you try to do to Israel is going to backfire on your goddamn heads. The Most High has set us free. It's that simple. I told you, we're putting the wool off of all you guys' wicked ass shit that y'all do. The Most High made it clear about what to do on this earth and what not to do. What's, what's unclean, what's clean. He made it very clear. And then niggas want to try to use all these excuses to take what the Most High has already laid out and try to twist it around and make it something else. Well, we got grace, brother, so fire up another rack of rib up there. Fire up another batch of hot dogs up there. Because you got grace, that's why you doing it. So you got a choice. That's the choice you made. That don't make no sense. You just chose that. That's what y'all are doing with grace. That sin may abound. All of you wicked ass heathen nations are doing that shit. Trying to hide under uh, Jesus Christ's skirt. His tunic. With the flowers around his head. Flower boy Jesus. Yahusha ain't going for that shit. He don't know you niggas. You niggas are full of uncleanness on the inside. You're trying to clean the outside of the cup. Trying to make it look good on the outside. Wearing all your makeup and shit. Man, you see these people, these motherfuckers when they wearing makeup? How they be looking? And then when they ain't got the makeup on, how they look? That's how this world is. Everything in this world is like that. They be looking fucked up. I woke up like this. Yeah, looking like a goddamn demon. You woke up looking like a goddamn demon. Then they cover all that shit up. Jezebel is the best at this. And all her children follow suit. They all do just like her. I told you, niggas thought they was doing it big, taking that girl to Red Lobster. She cracking crab, le crab legs, digging, dipping that shit in butter and shit. Butter flying around, fingers all greased the fuck up with a, a bib around her fucking neck. You just poisoned her. And then she gonna make love to you and shit tonight because she feel like you just spent your money on her and treated her so good. Nigga then gave her a plate of fucking cockroaches. And she made love with this nigga. You make a salad. You put some kale on there and shit. Some romaine. Chop up some uh, parsley and shit. Put that on there. Sprinkle some chia seeds on the shit. Put some olive oil on top of it. She looking at you like, what the fuck you didn't make for me? Like it's poison. You see this different? You see what I'm saying about the foolery? She doesn't even know that that shit is life that you just gave her. You just gave her health. Which shows that you love her, see? But she living in a goddamn world where she thinks that a diamond ring and a plate of fucking uh, uh, roaches and shit is love. You see how sad this shit is out here? You see how pathetic this is? <laughs> Somebody gets cancer. You go to them and say, hey, man. Don't take that chemo shit. Don't do the chemo radiation. Don't do that. We're going to switch up your diet, man. We're going to switch up your environment. We're going to switch up. We're going to change this environment around. Make make this shit about self-healing right now. We're going to make everything around you about self-healing. So we're going to eat different. We're going to speak different. We're going to live different. What are you trying to do? Kill me? I'm going to get that chemo. Fuck that shit. Bloop, 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 bloop. Get filled with poison. Hair falling all out of shit. Teeth that fell the fuck out. Can't eat. You go over there, you be like, hey man, smoke this weed, bro. It's gonna help your appetite. It's gonna make you feel better. Honestly, it's gonna help you. You're gonna feel it instantly. No, what are you trying to do? Kill me? I don't smoke any weed. Nigga don't smoke weed, but the nigga drink scotch every fucking day. Pathetic, like I said. Pathetic. This world is full of goddamn sin, man. And all you niggas that don't think that it is are fooling yourself. They're, you're fooling yourself. There's Steve O, 
whatever the fuck his name is, got a tattoo of a man masturbating his penis with a, a, an infant. And people do that. There was a video of these two children. They had to be about four or five years old, a brother and a sister. And they were talking about their papa, their grandfather, who would take little babies and then make take a knife and make them kill the babies, decapitate the babies, and drink their blood. And then they would uh, take peel the skin and everything off, take the skulls and dance around the house with the skulls, the little children said. And then the person interviewing this said, who made you do this? They said, Papa made us do it. He made us kill the babies. And then drink their blood. And y'all are wondering why we're speaking the way we're speaking about the wickedness of this world? Y'all wonder why we're not giving no quarter to y'all fucking wickedness? Y'all take the most wicked shit and put it up there like it's not wicked. Like it ain't nothing wrong with this shit. The last straw is pedophilia. That's the last straw. You niggas thinking that you're going to just put this shit on TV and having sex with kids and it's okay to be a little boy lover, little girl lover, making your little symbols and all this other little shit. Talking about pizza and nachos and cheese and whatever the fuck. Walnut sauce and all this other shit. Cannabisclub.web or whatever the fuck, dot com and shit or whatever the fuck it is. Fucking restaurant out there in California that serves human flesh. Human flesh? On the menu, they have a website you can go. I went on it myself and looked at the shit. You got to be an exclusive member to eat there. Niggas don't just want the, the blood of a child. They want adrenalized blood, which means you have to torture this shit. You have to torture it until the, the blood gets filled with adrenaline. Then you partake of it. And y'all are talking about, don't speak like that. Don't yell when you preach the word of God. Don't use those words when you preach the word of God. Don't use these words. So there are people out there that, like, look at the Vatican. The arch enemy of Israel. Rome. Y'all niggas follow behind these niggas like they are holy. Pedophilia runs rampant. Blood drinking, all kinds of witchcraft, all kinds of satanic worship, and I, I'm wrong for how I'm saying it. Not the despicable works of this despicable world. It don't make you want to holler. <laughs> that shit don't make you want to scream. It don't make you want to cuss them out. So a man master or, or a man um, committing molestation against a, an infant, penetrating an infant, is not worthy of of a nigga yelling and screaming about that shit. Are y'all that weak? Are y'all that? Fucking wicked? That don't stir you up. The idea that people are doing that. Snatching people's children. Torturing them. Innocent children. Making the children kill the other child. And torturing them. MK altering their mind and all this other shit. Y'all let that shit be? And then get mad when the nigga says that that kind of shit is going on and he's upset about it. He's yelling and hollering and screaming and cursing them down. You're saying that he's wicked. Then your ass ain't shit. Which is what a tear is. It's useless. Y'all think it's mad when we say y'all ain't shit. Well, that's what chaff is. It's only fit to be burned. That like you niggas, y'all ain't fit to live on earth. Y'all ain't fit to live anywhere because you don't have any say in what the fuck is going on. Y'all are so-called adults, y'all just going along with the program. Even if they're right there in front of your face. 
Y'all niggas are so weak, y'all elected a president that openly is a pedophile. Had to get brain surgery for the shit. And you vote for a nigga like that? Are y'all crazy? Are y'all that fucking crazy? This nigga is sniffing on girls' hair right in, on the screen. It's pulling their hair, smelling their hair. Grabbing their breasts, 12 year old girls, 10 year old girl, grabbing their breasts, putting them over to them, whispering in their ear. Whispering in their ear, little girls. What's the man Sessions? Uh, Beauregard Sessions, Jeffrey. Is that his name? Jefferson. Jefferson Beauregard Sessions. Had his little granddaughter in there. Joe Biden went to, to, to shake her hand and shit. Sessions pulled his dog granddaughter away from his ass and smacked his hand away. So what the fuck that's telling you? Pulled his granddaughter away and smacked Joe Biden's hand. Jefferson Sessions did that. Jeff Sessions. Pulled his, pulled his girl away and smacked Joe Biden's hand. And y'all niggas vote this nigga into office. Y'all are pathetic. Y'all are weak. Y'all are pussies. Y'all ain't worth shit. Simple. And don't be mad at me for telling you the goddamn truth. Don't be mad at me for it. Be mad at yourself for not opening your eyes and seeing how clear that is to see. All the wickedness these people are doing. This nigga Barack Obama got an email asking for $50,000 worth of hot dogs. Now the FBI got a list of words that pedophiles use, code words. One of those is hot dogs, which means little boys. So $50,000 worth of hot dogs or $50,000 worth of little boys? Which ones make most sense? What do y'all need to hear? Hillary Clinton sends Aberdeen or whatever the fuck her name is an email talking about a good sacrifice sure gets my blood going. Make sure you bring my special tool I like to use. <laughs> you see how wicked this shit is? I'm about to go sacrifice a child real quick. That'll, that'll make me feel better. And y'all niggas just voting for these people. You're just putting your hands up. Yeah, hell yeah, we believe in you. Yes, right. Y'all niggas don't know what true leadership is then, do you? Y'all niggas are all nothing but followers, huh? Y'all was just in school doing everything that you were told, huh? Y'all stood in single file line and shit. Present! Stood right up in class. Present! Uh-huh. I've done all my work. I did all my homework, too. An A+. Plus. Your ass on the usher board at church, huh? Oh, come on, Sister Jenkins. Oh, you sit up here in the front. Yep, uh-huh. Oh, I love you, bro. Brother, you're so good. Your parents raised you to be such a good boy. Yeah, I thank you. They sure did. Yep, sit on down, uh-huh. You need anything since you need a fan? Okay, just let me know. I'll be over here if you need me. Beta male shit. Weak ass nigga shit, man. Y'all niggas don't want to face the facts. See, I'm going in on this shit today, man. I got time to. <laughs> I'm going in on this shit. All y'all wickedness. All of it. Now, Edomites, y'all went across the earth because the Most High gave you a little gift called a sword. See, you, you got the gift to be able to kill people. That's what it is. That's the truth. Now, let's see if you've been going around the earth killing people, Esau. Well, you came over here, you conquered the fuck out of this place, killed everybody. So, uh, smallpox, blankets and shit, wounded knee, all kinds of shit. Enslaved people beat them to shit, raped, pillaged, and plundered all the land of all the goods, cut down all the trees, poisoned up all the water, 
went across the earth making everybody wear their hair like you, wear suits like how you wear, speak your language, use your money, and you've done all this by force with a sword called the military. That's your gift, that military you have. You go across the earth with all your machines just blasting shit up. Boom, 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 boom. Anybody got anything else to say? Hey, we don't like that. Boom. Anybody else got anything to say? Japan was like, yeah, yeah, we're going to come up too. Boom, boom. Two big ass bombs. Anybody got else? Anything they'd like to say? They were like, oh, hell no, beast. Who can make war with him? See, he got the sword. I told you, you can't make war with that nigga. He got the sword. So we're going to bring spiritual weapons. We got a spiritual sword that this nigga can't discern. It's called the truth, Esau. You wicked ass devils that go across the earth, killing, raping, pillaging, plundering everything. Now it's your turn to pay. Civil war. And this time, Israelites ain't getting involved. Not saving you this time. Simple as that. Y'all gonna fight it out on your own. A house divided shall not stand. Y'all had a house divided. Remember the loops? Somebody gotta get the head pop. Abraham Lincoln. Then there's gonna be a civil war. That's the way it's gonna go this time. War, 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 war. Somebody get their head pop. Bam, Abraham Lincoln, I told you. As soon as the Hebrews, time to get free. What happened? We're rising up. Yeah, we love ourselves. We got afros. We're talking about love. We're talking about, yes, I'm black and I'm proud. John Kennedy. Bing. Martin Luther King. Bing. Malcolm X. Bing. Medgar Evers. Bing. Emmett Till. Bing. Fred Hampton. Bing. Don't you see the loops? So that's where we're at now. Somebody got better duck, nigga. Somebody better duck. Because it's that time on the clock now. It's time to pay the fuck up. You niggas running around on stolen property, sucking it all full of... Man, have y'all seen the oil rig fields out there? Have you seen an aerial view of that shit? There's so many of them fucking things out there that you can't even hardly see the earth, the ground. It's just little square, 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 square. All over Texas, all over the middle, whatever, the west of the United States. Just covered in fucking oil field rigs, whatever the fuck you call that shit. They pump the oil out. They're just sucking the oil out of the earth. Sucking the oil, sucking the oil, sucking the oil. Well, oil is the blood of the earth. So what happens when you suck and suck and suck and suck and suck? They don't give a fuck is the answer. They don't care what happens when you cut all the fucking trees down. They don't care. All they care about is profit. More, 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 more. That's all the fuck they care about. While they're out here doing the most wicked shit behind closed doors. All them fucking weird ass parties they have. Fucking walking with fucking mad masquerade balls and fucking mask on and all this other weird ass shit. These fucking shape shifting ass fucking reptilian motherfuckers out here that's that's can't even keep their damn form. Niggas is glitching the fuck out and shit, eyes twitching and shit. Blinking and shit, slits coming in their fucking eyes and all this other weird ass shit. Y'all don't give a fuck about nothing, man. A nigga can straight tell you, I'm the most wicked nigga in the whole wide world. I'll kill everybody. You come up to me and y'all will run right up to that nigga. Like moths to a fucking flame. Y'all will love him. He's so funny. <laughs> How long will y'all love simplicity, you fucking simple ones? <laughs> That's <laughs> funny, entertaining. How long will y'all love simplicity, you simple ones? When y'all gonna become austere men and women? Huh? 
When y'all gonna rise up to your place? Stop being down on that level with them fucking heathens and choose none of their goddamn ways. None of that shit that they do. None of those fucking riotous ass parties with their fucking drunkenness. Drinking their fucking spirits. Having a good time with their fucking orgies and shit. Take no parts in none of that shit, Israel. None of the wickedness of this goddamn world. None of the wickedness that they've perpetrated on you. Tried to make you do the shit. Y'all didn't read about Antiochus Epiphanes? And a man named Eleazar? A Hebrew man, an aged man. Was confronted by the Greek king at the time. Antiochus Epiph Epiphanes. Esau. And he said, why don't you just eat this swine? He tried to command that this man, this Hebrew man, eat swine. The man Eleazar said no. He said, I'll torture you to death if you don't do it. He said, well then get your torturing going then. Nigga, get the torturing then, nigga. I ain't about to break the Most High's commandments just because you told me to. What will, what will these younger men think of my nation if they think if they see an aged man with the hoary head bow his knee to the to the idolatry that you're trying to get me to take? What will they think of me? And what will they think of the Most High's commands? No. So they tortured that man to death. Because he wouldn't partake of the swine. Matter of fact, while while he was being tortured, some of the people that knew, because he was he was well respected in the community, the people came and they said, "Man, hey, look, just eat this meat. It's not pork, but we'll make it look like pork, because that way you'll eat it, and then they'll they'll stop torturing you." He said, "No." And you niggas is going around here just running to the shit, eating it. Just disrespecting Eleazar, your ancestor, who stood there strong for the commandments of the Most High. Didn't give in to no fucking wicked ass Edomite ideals. Another sister, a woman had seven sons. Antiochus, that wicked ass Antiochus Epiphanes, came to her and said the same thing. Eat this swine. Commanded her sons to eat it. She, they said no. He says, if y'all don't eat it, I'm going to kill your sons, starting with the oldest all the way down to the youngest one. I'm going to torture them and kill them. They said, well, get to it, nigga. And he did. Right before that woman's eyes, he took her seven sons and killed each one of them. You see how your enemies do? You see the way they are? They took life away simply because they wouldn't partake of their wicked ass ways. Eat swine, guys. Killed all of her sons right before her eyes, tortured them first. Then when it got to the youngest boy, she held her boy and she said, don't give in to their, don't give in. He said, mama, I ain't gonna give in. You know that, you raised me better than that. They tortured him the worst, her youngest boy. They made his torture the worst to try to get her to break. And then she still said, no. I have faith that I'll hold my sons again in the kingdom. And they killed her next. So fuck all my enemies. Let them burn. Let them die. Let me watch it while it happens. All the blood drinkers. All the offenders of children. All the ones who go in and tear up houses. And take advantage of widows who are heavy laden with sin and deceive them. Let them all be laid waste today, Abba Yah. For they are not our enemies, they are your enemies, according to your word. They fight against you, Abba Yah, so fight against them. Show your wonders in this land, just like you did in the land of Egypt, Abba Yah. Let it be done today. Show them your mighty power. Show them your mighty hand in this land. So that nobody can take credit. No man will be able to stand and boast on that day. Let your power rain down here and let the whole world quake before it.
before your mighty throne, Abba Yah. Because they don't sing praises to your name. They don't give glory and honor to your name. They only seek to distort, to destroy, to twist and deceive. So let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, Abba Yah. Silawam Yisraela.